I did lots of internships in undergrad and through Divinity School uh, to explore different avenues of worship. I was very nervous about being behind the pulpit. Through the internships, I tried chaplaincy and uh, different avenues, but God kept leading me back to the pulpit. And during my third year of Divinity School, I was doing an internship where I was in a three-point charge. And so I distinctly remember walking out of Duke Divinity School into Duke Chapel, sitting down in a pew, and bowing my head and saying to God, fine, I'll do it. I'll go into the local church. And that's where God led me to. To me, every Sunday, it's a connection with going, yeah, I'm doing this not because of me, but because God has asked me, because God has called me to this place. So it's funny how God speaks in our weaknesses, uh, just as a reminder of how powerful He is, and that He can use, He uses the people He calls to do His will and to communicate to His people. Everyone comes from a different place, and we arrive at our calling, but then we also go in different directions. There's not just one standard call. It's ministry, and ministry comes in all forms and all places. You can travel down a road, and even if you go down, say you want to try chaplaincy, you try it for a year and it's not, that's still fine-tuning what God is calling you to do, because you're finding an avenue where God is not leading you. And so even when doors close or there's no's, there's still, you're, you're understanding more of who you are and who God has called you to be. Well, I learned in my 13 years of ministry so far that the more the more I find out who I am, the stronger my calling is. I am Jim Parsons, and I am called.